All right. Hello, OAS family. It is time for another book review. And today we're going to be reviewing 108 Flowers, book one by Ning Ye. So before we get started, it's important to note that Ning Ye's books and instructional materials can kind of be viewed as sequential. And the beginning of the curriculum is really his blue book, which we've reviewed before, that's Chinese Brush Painting and Instructional Guide. That's BK01 in our catalog. So really, you should start with that book if you're new to brush painting. And then the next book in the series is the ABC of Chinese Brush Painting. Um, that's BK2. And then after you get those two books under your belt, you're really going to be ready to choose to specialize in the things that you really like. You know, if you like flower painting, then you're gonna go ahead and go to 108 Flowers. Um, if you prefer landscape painting, then you we, he has a book called Landscape Lessons, which we've also reviewed. Um, so, but if you haven't checked out those two books, the first two books, which is Chinese Brush Painting and Instructional Guide, and the ABC of Chinese painting, I encourage you to check those two out, especially if you're new. But let's get into this book. So the rough statistics are dimensionally, it is 11 and three quarters inches high by eight and a quarter inches wide. And the book is approximately 142 pages. So we'll go ahead and get into the book here. And it's important to note that the title uh, of the series, 108 Flowers, um, is na it's named that way because if you total the composite the books in all four if you total the flowers that are featured in all four books together they total 108 so as we get into the book here we can see here the table of contents and then a preface a little uh, perspective on his point of view and then the basics of flower painting a nice section on materials and whatnot um, good section on technique here. These are just refreshing some of the things that were covered in um, the earlier books, but uh, good to always review the basics. And other techniques. The, the, this section is very valuable, so uh, if you um, haven't been around this information before, uh, it is really good to learn some of these techniques. It's really a system of um, how to do this type of painting, and it's very well thought out. So I think you'll enjoy it. So we're going to get into our first uh, subject here, which is the African violet. So you can see this is the format of the book. Um, on the left-hand side here, they're going to show some materials, the preparation of color, and a little bit about the background of the subject. And then they're going to show the finished composition. And then as you go on, there's going to be blow-ups that detail like a uh, uh, numerical sequence of strokes and the direction of the strokes um, and the order in which uh, he would do them in. So you can see here, this is the section for the leaf strokes and then it finishes up with the petal strokes. So for those of you who are familiar with Nigné's instruction, you will see that this is less detailed than some of his earlier books and that is by design. So the deal, the, the, the way it works is um, the more detailed the instruction, the fewer subjects he can show you. So he's really depending on you having gone through those earlier books to get some technical foundation. And then he feels like, okay, this type of instruction is going to work for people who have had those two books under their belts. Or um, you could shortcut that and like take a uh, online class with somebody like Mayi Futterman uh, or take uh, uh, one of Ningye's class he teaches in person, you know, and um, that will sort of give you a little bit of a shortcut, uh, get you used to some of the techniques, and you can learn them live uh, or live online with uh, your teacher of choice. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the Amaryllis. Okay, and you can see how this format just continues on, and this is the Amaryllis. And then this is the Anemone Poppy. Apple Blossom, uh, 
the azalea. So I remember when my father was writing these books, uh, Bamboo, he was uh, saying that, you know, there were some flowers that he was really dying to do lessons on, but they were more unknown. So he wanted uh, a book that would allow him to showcase some of these lesser known flowers because he thought they were really amazing and wanted to paint them and wanted to uh, develop instruction for them. So that's how the series came about. Banana. This is uh, beautiful. And you will see from these compositions that they are complete. Um, they are composed. They're artist quality compositions, but I wouldn't call them complicated. They're very accessible, you know, to a, an artist of any level. And then this is Begonia. Bellflower. Bird of Paradise. Blackberry Lily. Also, there is video instruction for all 108 flowers, and uh, a lot of them are available on our streaming video platform, which is housed at oaslife.com, www.oaslife.com. You can go there, and for $9.99 a month, you can get access to over 90 plus titles, and a lot of those titles are um, video instruction on the flowers featured in 108 flowers. This is Bleeding Heart. Blue Bonnet. Bougainvillea. Calla Lily. Camellia. This is a subject that my father has covered in other publications, but I like this composition. It is very balanced and um, nice and simple. Canna. Carnation. Catalea orchid. This one is in ink. Cherry blossom. Chili pepper. Chinese magnolia. Christmas cactus. So it is important to note that all flowers and Chinese painting share similar technique. So once the, the more comfortable you get with the basic techniques, you can sort of unleash the whole kingdom of flowers for you to paint because uh, a lot of the techniques are just done over and over again. And so, um, you know, it's really worthwhile. There are worthwhile subjects to really learn because of, you know, how many potential subjects it unlocks for you in your painting. Livia. And of course, whenever you paint anything that exists in nature, it just kind of changes your point of view. You know, it immediately changes the way that you look at things, your awareness when you're walking around, you're noticing the flowers as you see them in the wild or in people's gardens. And uh, it is just a wonderful 
um, lens through which you can look at life. Coxcomb. Coral. Look at how rich the colors are on this one. And that's the last subject covered in this book. And then we get a little biography here. You can see some of these older pictures of my dad and our family and some of the accolades that he has received throughout his career. So that is it. That is 108 Flowers Book One. So this is book one in a series of four. And you can find this book available at our website at orientalartsupply.com. If you liked this video and want more content like this, please like and subscribe. And we wish you happy painting.